What up, though? Y'all already know how I go. Make sure I smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment, you dig. Salam alaikum to the black men with their palms up, man. Salam alaikum to the uh, Lord's too almighty to you, brother. I know you somewhere saying mighty well back to me. I see a lot to my comrades. 212 to the bloods. I know you somewhere saying 204, 14 to the Gs. I know you somewhere saying 412 back. Islam to a more by his off so long to the Jews. Peace and blessings be upon all y'all. You did one love to the maniacs. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, let's get to this video real quick, man. Before hey, make sure y'all tune in to um the beat factory. That's Jews. The beat factory 313. The space beat factory 313. Make sure y'all tune into his page. Finally got him out the cut. Finally got him outside. It's on and popping. The responses has been great. You know, it's going to go up from here. It's just popping. It's just popping. It's just popping. So all it is, too, it's just it's going that way. Uh, and let's talk about this. T. Dot Pringle in jail. So if you've been following me since day one, right, or you've been following me and you always tune in, you remember the video I posted about him. But I made the video private because I started thinking about relationships. I'm like, damn. And this a while back. I'm like, damn, I want to interview Big Hurt. I don't know how Big Hurt feel about him. Uh, and also, I thought T. Dot Pringle from Inkster named himself af after him. So, I ain't want to mess up that relationship for the future. But I should have never took it down. Somebody brought it to my attention. They like, bro, remember that video you had up? Of, whoa, 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 whoa. She was talking about your uncle. What that said? I'm like, bro, I made it private. He's like, why would you do something like that? I, I, I told him the reasons. He's like, so what? Boy, the boys don't care what affect you. And he also like when you in a certain realm, of, when you do certain things that ain't a part of the game. Dogface said, "I got to keep referring to Dogface." Dogface said, "That type of criminal behavior, the CSCs, that don't come from poverty. That don't come from not having food to eat. That come from an illness." And I feel sorry for them boys who like little small children, right? And this is what this is why I feel sorry for them. Because no man wakes up one day and say, hey, I'm a like four-year-olds or 10-year-olds and they're grown men. Nobody wake up and say that. So it got to be an illness. And then to fight the urge every day to like this, that's like me staying away from women with pretty feet and nice calves and ankles. Yeah, 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 yeah. boy, your boy out here. I like chicks with, with, with nice calves and nice ankles, you feel me? And pretty feet. You feel me? Like, I was just in the store a minute ago. It took everything in me to stop looking at this woman's feet that was across from me. I was just waiting. Waited about 30 minutes in the T-Mobile store. And it took everything because her daughter kept looking at me. We kept making eye contact. And I didn't want her to keep looking at me, looking at her mom. I, you know what I'm saying? I actually talked to her. But I didn't want her to keep looking at me, looking at her mom. But her mom had some pretty feet. I ain't going to lie. So that's like me. Like, damn, I ain't going to look at a woman's feet no more. Her calves. I'm not going to feel on it no more. I mean, like, damn. You know how hard that'd be? No no one of these guys act out crazy and, and, and ridiculous. You got to hide that and you can't be outright with that because it's crazy. I feel sorry for him, but I have no remorse for him at all. And uh, I got to stop thinking about these ind industry relationships too much. You feel me? These guys, like, they wouldn't make them sacrifices for me or do it. You, you feel me? So it don't, it don't even matter. So regardless of all that. The video about T dot, and, and, and first I made the video. Of, I had a talk with him. He said something crazy. I made the video, but like I said, I took it down because of Big Hurt, T dot Pringle from Inkster. Uh, also, I always wanted to meet Jay Nutty. That's another person. They was on tracks together. And, and you can say what you want about the Chomo. You can say what you want about that Chomo. He can rap. Yeah, he can rap. That time, yeah, he can rap. He kept up. He kept up with Nutty and Hurt. He he kept up on some track. I ain't gonna lie. Just like you gotta get R. Kelly his props. I ain't gonna lie. Boy can rap. But look, this this is what me and his situation stem from, right? I was in middle school going to Durfee. I I had went to my grandmother's house to stay with her, or whatever you know. Me and my mom going through turmoil, stepfather, so on and so forth. Kind of like ran away to my grandmother's house. But anyway, I was going to Durfee. 
And I was a lame growing up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was not like that. I was soft, spoiled for my aunties. I was not like that at all. Dudes was beating me up, chasing me, uh, 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 throwing me around in bathrooms at, at lunchtime. It was bad. I was soft. I ain't gonna cap the man. I'll just be who I am, man. I was soft as hell. So anyway, I finally get a girlfriend. Her name Tammy. Or was it Jamaica? I I can't remember, bro, exactly. But, yeah, it was Jamaica. It was Jamaica. Thick. I'm talking about thick. She was in high school. I was in middle school. I was in the... I would say I was in... Yeah, I was in the fifth grade. And she was in high school. I told her I was in the eighth and I was 13. She was 15. But really, I was 11. Don't kill me for that. I, I lied about my age. She didn't know. And then when she did find out, it was like kind of like too late anyway. But regardless of all that, yeah, she was like in the ninth or 10th grade. Thick, beautiful, always had money. Used to always come over there buy lunch. You know, we had the dope, man. We had the best chicken wings at Durfee ever. Central had some of the best chicken wings ever. Ever. I, I don't even think I had wings like that since I was a child. I don't know what they was doing to the chicken back then, but it's different from now. That shit was crazy. So, yeah, we used to always kick it. You know, we used to get in the fill on her, give me little kisses and all that. You know what I'm saying? Guess who come take my girlfriend? T Dot. Oh, rapping. He had the box. I think he had like a box Chevy on some 22s or 23s or 24. No, I don't even think 24s was popping back then. It was like some 20s. He had the Chevy on the 20s. I come outside, walk to Central one day. He kissing her. Of course, I'm a coward. I turn around and walk away. I'm a, I'm a coward. I turn around and walk away. I say, you know what? I'm going to get back. I'm going to talk to her friend because her friend always liked me. Her friend was in the 12th grade. Well, start talking to her. We was cool or whatever. Guess what happened? He got both of them. He got both of them. He got both of them. Hey, look, I felt some type of way about that day ever, ever since. I felt some type of way. That's why they call me Petty. Another si hey, a situation when I was, uh, I got jumped on when I was a kid, right? I think I was in the sixth grade. Some grown men jumped on me about two years ago. They weren't grown men, but I was 12. They was like 18, 19. They was grown. They was grown. Whatever, right? Cyrus being one of them, schoolcraft. Everybody know he, and I ain't holding no bars on dudes no more. You got problem with it is what it is. Everybody knows Cyrus on schoolcraft and cherry line. He was the neighborhood chomo. You feel me? He was pulling girls behind garages, filling on them. This nigga like twenty years old, coming up to middle school, messing with chicks. Everybody know that. You got problem with me? You, you know, see it? See me? You feel me? But yeah, everybody know schoolcraft quarters. He was a chomo. I dare Killer Slam say he wasn't. I dare Sean say he wasn't. I dare Wayne say he wasn't. Everybody know this was the neighborhood chomo. Like, messing with all the little girls at our school was taking. He took one of my girlfriends, too, Jasmine. And that's who he jumped me over. He took light-skinned Jasmine from me. Or whatever, right? So, she was thick and pretty. I bet she got about 20 babies right now. Thick and pretty little thing. You feel me? I think she was like 15 in the 8th grade. But... 15, I think he was like 19, 20. That, I mean, I, I don't know if that's that bad, but he took her from me. You feel me? But I end up seeing one of the guys who jumped me. This over 15 years, uh, what, I was 11, 12? I was 12. 20 years later, we on the block with one of the guys that did it. I bring it up, like, remember you jumped me? <laughs> yeah, I was a punk back then. Uh, man, I wonder what your hands like now. Nah, I wonder, could you do something with me now? Nah. And that turned into a whole, whole crazy situation. I ain't gonna go into a double bar, but he got what he. That's the pettiness. That's the level I go to. You feel me? I'm just messed up like that. But that always made me feel some type of way getting beat up. But I, I want to catch two more of them to make me happy. It's two more of them that I remember. I want to just catch them too. Or, or that, that he, just have a little friendly fade. No 
None of that other stuff. You want to have a little friendly fade to see, you know, when you was jumping on kids, is you like that? Nah, you did what I'm talking about? We ain't lose a draw. Shake your hand. We go eat out the words, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I got some demons I'm fighting. I'm sorry. But yeah, T. Dot Pringle took both my girls riding around with them on a box Chevy. It's somebody else I kind of want to put on blast, and everybody know everybody, but it was a whole situation out of that, and he didn't come to court. About some stuff that transpired. When he, remember I told y'all that story about him saying something about my feds. And I called him a, a sex offender. And that whole thing. So he didn't come to court on God or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. I'm not. Yeah, that's not seven over seven years ago. We ain't going to really talk about that. You feel me? But yeah, that that's that's the, that's the story in the situation, man. But everybody know t I've been doing that for years. And they knew it. I'm talking about guys he was rapping with. I'm not saying, you know, certain names. But certain guys knew what was going on. Certain guys in the neighborhood knew what was going on. Everybody know he liked little children. You feel me? Now, I'm not sure if that's before they did music with him or during or did nothing. But everybody know that man like little kids. Everybody know that. It's not no secret. You feel me? I ain't putting the blame or placing the blame on nobody else. But at the end of the day, y'all knew. Everybody in the neighborhood knew. Everybody on Linwood Dexter knew. Everybody talked about that behind. You feel me? Like closed doors. Like, you know, I was at Central today. I was at Durfee. This been going on. It took Dogface to say it. Like, he been really, really, really. Like, I'm really, really digging, homie, bro. Pause. Like, I'm really digging Dogface. He a real dog. You feel me? And don't give no fucks about it. Peace and blessings be upon y'all, man. Big